Welcome to the third video on this series on Banner 9 web registration. In this video, we're going to explore how a student successfully registers for classes. You must enter the register for class area. It does require you to log in using your network credentials if you're not already logged in. Once you get to the entry page, you must pick which term you're going to register for and provide your registration pin. You get your registration pin from your faculty advisor prior to class registration. If you were to try to enter this area and you have a hold, that hold will display as an error in the notification area in the far upper right hand corner of the browser um, if you try to access web registration because you cannot access that. Um, there are several ways once you get into this registration in which to register for courses. You can find courses using the advanced find features and search features that were available through the plan ahead. Um, you can also enter class registration numbers, those five digit numbers as you do during using Banner Web 8 registration currently. And if you create plans in the plan, the plan ahead feature, those plans will be available. Um, I know that we created a plan in that plan ahead feature, so we're going to start with that plan. Um, it's quite simple. In order to add your plan to registration, you click this Add All button your plan, go down to the summary tab, and click submit to register. You have now successfully registered for courses. It's quick and simple if you have a plan already in place and those courses are available. In this case we only have I only have 12 credits and one with one lab included um, and I probably want to be at 16 credits so we're going to go out looking for some additional coursework. I'm going to go to the search feature, start looking for a new class. Um, I do want to print point out in this search feature that there's some additional advanced search features available because um, you're looking at section level data in, this, in the class schedule. So while you still have your attribute area available for common curriculum requirements, you also can now um, search for part of term. So if you're looking for an A mod or B mod course, you can find those specifically. You still have access to your course number ranges, your credit hour ranges, but you now have access to meeting times as well as start time and end times for courses. And if you're only looking for open sections, you want to leave those closed sections um, out of the search, you can do that as well. In this case, I'm going to add French 111 since I need to work on my language requirement. Now I'm successfully registered for 16 credits. But there might be that opportunity where now I'm registered, but I want to still make a change to my schedule. Um, there's a lovely feature available um, in Banner 9 web registration next to the submit button called this conditional add drop box. And what this does is that if you check the box, this allows me to drop one a course of mine while I'm considering adding another course. So I'm going to add, try to add Hispanic Studies course instead. I add this course to, to my planned registration. I'm going to hit submit and we'll only make this change if the system will allow that to change for my. So it made a note here that I was unable to make the requested change because my I have a time conflict with the Hispanic Studies course. So. It removed it, left, left me in my French 11 course while not completing the registration for the Hispanic Studies course. I do also want to display the process that if you do have a five digit course registration number, you can also add courses that way by just clicking Add to Summary. Notice it's added to my summary. Well, I'm going to drop my French course. And that's been successfully completed. If I wanted to clean this up, all I have to do is hit submit one more time and any courses that were dropped are removed from the summary. And I still have my nice color-coded class schedule planned in the schedule summary on the right hand or left hand corner. You can also take a look at your schedule by using the schedule and options tab. And then if there was any courses that were variable credit, I could go into this hours column and change any variable credit courses here. But this brings to a conclusion 
how to register successfully for classes using Banner 9 web, web registration.